morning and welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Dawn and this is my other half of partner in crime. Good morning, my name is Dave. How are we doing? And this is our sales update for... Dave, what's the date? 10th to the 16th. Thank you. <laughs> I'll just look because I can't think. Um, so yeah, this is our weekly sales update um, of what we've sold. Are you going first or am I going first? Just in charge, up to you. You're I'll, in charge. I'll go first. Oh, I'm not in charge. It's your video. Oh, it's not our video. <laughs> right, anyway. <laughs> um, so, the first item that I have, actually it was a, a bundle, which is the Mills and Boons. Woohoo! My Mills and Boons are doing so well for me right now. How much um, did you pay for your Mills and Boons for? Well, I had two boxes of books for one pound. And they weren't all, the second box wasn't all Mills and Boons. They were other ones as well so uh i don't know i job lotted them between five to four but you know four books five etc so but we're watching our dog right now what are you doing Edie? a little bit different she today <laughs> yeah she's throwing our mummy and daddy at the moment what the matter she's getting old black she's nine we just said on the 22nd of february so she's getting old for a bulldog what's she doing let me just go see if she wants to go out are they she can open the door herself, but uh, she don't like she's waiting for him. <laughs> I think she's waiting for her boy to come down because he's upstairs. No, I think she's going for a drink. She's worrying her mum and dad at the moment. So if we keep stopping, we apologise. It's only because we're keeping an eye on her. Sorry, dog stop. Yeah, she's our baby. She's our last one of the three dogs that we have. So it's like she's our baby, isn't she? <laughs> yeah, like I say, she's getting old, bless her. She's nine on the twenty second. Right, so yeah, the bundle of um, Mills and Boons. I think she looks doing... more like you, though. Who? The baby. <laughs> I have got the bulldog top on today, actually. <laughs> I didn't realise <laughs> He's a bugger, isn't he? We love him, though. Um, so yeah, this woman bought four lots off me, so I can buy the postage for her, and it came to a total of £26. So one bundle was eight, one bundle was seven, one bundle was five, and one bundle was six. So I was well pleased with that. And I've still got quite a lot of bundles on there. In total, I made 18 bundles. Um, and I've still got, because I've sold quite a few the last couple of days, I've still got roughly about, I think about nine bundles left. I'm not sure. Can't remember about looking. So I'm doing well. They're big boxes. They were. And there was a lot in there. I know I could do a massive bundle and sell them for like, 30 quid but them old fruit trays, weren't they? Yeah. Tesco or something. And like I've that. always done well on meals and boons. So here you are. You see. You seem to get them, don't you? Yeah, I always manage I love uh, when I, I get excited when I see meals and boons. You get the little radar out, yeah, you sort of lose your poker head, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I had to drag them across the auction the other week. Look at this, look at this, there's two boxes of it. <laughs> Oh, she's going to bed now. She's had a drink. Right, next was the <coughs> Winnie the Pooh apron. A apron? Apron for £4.50. I just wanted to get rid. Some of this is old stock, so I just wanted to get rid. I've had that for a while. I actually got that for free, so I'm not worried about that one. Uh, square mini terracotta pots. These were brand new in the boxes. I did originally buy these for myself. I bought them for £2, and they were going to be for crafting, but... Just ain't had time to do my crafting at the moment, so I thought I'd get rid. Make space upstairs, um, so I was really pleased with that. A vintage woven wicker rattan plant hanger. I got five pounds for that. I think that's right because I forgot to write the price down. Um, Dave gave me these. These are pin toys, wooden bendable fire crew little toys, and a ladder. It goes on the truck. I got five pounds for that, and the woman was really, really pleased. Here we go, Mills and Boons bundle for seven pounds. See, pays. They're paying off. They're paying off. Um, next was an Oriental style blue and white ginger jars. These were in a load of bric-a-brac that we got from auction. I think I paid three pound or something for a load of bric-a-brac from the auction. Swap from auction. So I was really pleased with that, put them on for a fiver because um, I was only just starting to get round to putting the stuff on. They're not really worth much money, but I was pleased because I got £5 for them. 
and last but least is a vintage St. Michael ladies floor dressing gown and I sent offer out for £6 because I've had these for yonk since last year and I paid a pound for it and I got £6 for it so I'm just happy to get rid of old stock because like I said I've had a lot of this for a long while so a lot of mine was old stock that sold apart from the mills and beans and terracotta pots and that's me that's all that's all for the week not too bad though, is it? The, uh, the first lot of Mills and Boons was mm -hmm. a... My Mills and Boons is what paying it, paying the week. You do four or five week. of them, you'd be laughing, wouldn't you? Yeah, I do love selling them. They're one of my favourite things to sell at the moment, is the Mills and Boons. And I had some last year, and I sold out of them, didn't I, last year? Yeah. And then I said, if I see any more, I shall buy them again. And I do them in bun certain bundles as well, like Doctor Ones and Hardback Ones. I've just sold some Hardback Ones this week. And they do sell. So... Look out for your mills and boons, especially if they're at an auction and someone's trying to get rid of them. Sometimes they have them when they've cleared mum and dad's house out, don't they? And they at the car boots and that, and they're just a box you slung at the side or under the table, wouldn't they? They're worth looking out for. They are, they are, and you can make your money if you can get a load of them for next to nothing, as I have. So, my one pound is really tripling, doubling, whatever you want to call it, quadrupling. <laughs> Drubbling? Drubbling. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so it's Dave's turn, and he's off. We're off, are we? Okay, yeah. my turn now. What are you? Well, you look at the top of my head for five minutes. Is that, there's not many anyway, so <laughs> five minutes, five seconds. <laughs> I sold a green toolbox, a CK toolbox. Uh, bought this at Swap and Auction. Paid two pounds for it, but it was there were some tools in that in there, weren't there? That the I can green tell. one. The green one, yeah. That's all. Very quickly, yeah. On your, on your mind you, it's the right price now. I've got plus postage, got £12, paid £2 for it, so it's not too bad. Uh, pair of, pair of old Stilsons come out of the shed. Um, uh, uh, got £15 for them, plus postage. Uh, another thing out of the shed, um, a little old padlock, a belfry secure two lever. English riveted padlock with key, and I got £12 for that. We paid for postage on that one. Uh, an old, well, it's not sort of a, a new old stock. We bought it for ourselves, didn't we? For our, for our Iverco oh, yeah, yeah. van. Long time ago. I thought, <laughs> it, was nice, I thought it was a nice old trucker or something, I think. <laughs> it's glamour up and everything. <laughs> yeah, but it never got put on. And the van's gone now anyway. So. But uh, I think I probably did make a few bob because I don't mm -hmm. think there was a lot of money when I bought them, was there? No, they came out as like big old trailer. Trailer life thing. for me, but I'm, I know mm -hmm. the stickers mm -hmm. and that, they was like 50p or something, weren't they? Yeah. But I, I, I don't think I lost any money there, but I only sold them the for truck. 12, didn't I? 12 pounds. So it probably says 15 on your thing, but I put out offers for 12. Plus postage. Uh, this. Seven, uh, 13 to 7 13 pin to 7 pin towing adapter this come out of the shed um, it's terrible really because I bet if you went and bought one it would cost you quite a bit but I just they didn't seem to be selling did they no and that was the money they was making I thought well, that'd be worth a few bob really but I seemed to <laughs> when I bought that last caravan I didn't have one did I I needed one and the bloke actually gave me one but I seem to be finding them everywhere. There's another one over there, I just see. I think there's another one in this shed. Don't <laughs> lie me. He's a collector. Anyway, moving on swiftly. Uh, two brass, not sure how you pronounce that, so I'll just say squeegee heads. These were really old, weren't they? These come out yeah. of the shed. Uh, brass, the rubber was all perished and that, but I did put them on for 15 originally, but I put them down to a tenner. Gone, didn't they? You know what I mean? This was a big old tamper for like banging your garden. That was fun to wrap. <laughs> yeah, that was. Yeah, we had a few bashes on the head with that and uh, like for tamping down sand and soil and what have you. Someone give me that. I think it was that one anyway. But I got £15 for that plus postage. And then uh, two 
teapots separately. I've sold two eight pint aluminium teapots. Um, I sold them both for £15 each, but I paid the postage on them. And uh, I bought them at an auction, didn't I? Yeah, £3 each you paid. I bought for about them six the of them, so yeah. they, they sort of earned their money. And I think, ah, I'm pretty sure that was that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 17. Him and his big fingers. <laughs> oh, don't get on with this new phone. <laughs> <laughs> We've got these real posh new phones. And well, they're, they're, they're bloody pain in the arse, I think. You can't, I'm going, I try to do it really, the more gently I do it, then it don't want to do it. No, that's what they look like. <laughs> and they're a bit sensitive so it's like really hard to my spelling at the moment when I'm doing stuff it's really funny because I have to always apologise and send it before checking it and go oh sorry about the spelling <laughs> and putting passwords in is like mission impossible we it? love them they're just so sensitive <laughs> that's our sad then for the week honey yeah not um nothing to set the world on fire but we're still checking over we are, yeah, yeah. We, I mean, I've got a parcel to go out today, um, which someone's bought two things off me, so I've combined postage for them, and then I'll send that out now. People are still buying the odd bits, aren't they? It's all they stuff are. that's been on there for ages, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I was just saying today. We're sending a lot of old stuff, mm. stuff that's been on there for ages, which I'm, I'm quite happy with if I get rid of it. I'll yeah, get rid of it. But right I mean, now. I think they are still buying, you just. <clears throat> You've got to put it on, haven't you, really? Yeah, and that, well, that's the key to the game, isn't it? Putting on every single day. It, even if it's just one, it, you're yeah. keeping it ticking over. I mean, our son's been selling stuff as well. I mean, so. people say you got to keep putting it on to keep it up the top. I, I, and I always thought that was a load of rubbish, but I think it's the truth, isn't it? Because, yeah, it is the truth. I mean, I've got people looking at stuff that's been on there for <laughs> God knows how long, like, you know? I get a bit worried when I sell it. I think, oh God, I hope it's still here. That's what I was going to say. I said, and then we're going to have to find it. And we, it takes a little, a little bit while to find it. Because I, I number all mine now, don't I? Yeah. Because I had a few scares, didn't I? And I couldn't find stuff, so I thought, blow this for a go. Mind you, that's happened to me, hasn't it? I've had to refund someone because I couldn't find it, and I still can't find it. I don't know where it's gone. I was watching that guy in America. What's his name? Cincinnati Picker. I was watching him one day. He got all these tubs, and I thought, oh, that's a good idea, put your stuff in there. And then he's, they're all numbered, and he's like, he's got it on it. I can do that, and don't lose nothing now, do I? Yeah. So, no, I shouldn't say that, but. <laughs> touch your wood, touch your wood. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's it. That's our uh, weekly update video. Um, thank you for all the new subscribers. It's uh, great to see brilliant yeah thank you very much keep, keep liking and subscribing to our channel please and don't forget to share us with other people um thank you to Jeanette from carry on with guys she sent me a message I was doing we're all right yes we're all right um we're fine aren't we sure <laughs> yeah he hasn't been 100 percent well I'm gonna be honest he hasn't been very well have you but you're all right you're smiling you're still going aren't you it's because I'm only young, I'm growing, isn't it? That's it, growing, yeah. He needs feeding all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, we're, we're fine. Right, we're yeah, we're just, we're fine. We're just lazy. It's not lazy. Like, we are busy as well. We're trying to do things. And... Oh, we're lazy. <laughs> <laughs> we're not lazy. <laughs> no. But yeah, thank you. Thank you for all the new subscribers. It does make our day when we keep seeing our, our number of crawling up slowly each day so that's been a good thing it's a bit of a fix when you keep watching yourself on the thing seeing if you've got any more so <laughs> yeah, but setting your alarm for three o'clock in the morning come on doing just to look at you <laughs> <laughs> don't forget to follow us on instagram as well we have our own instagrams and yeah that's just yeah wait for another video which will be coming very soon i am doing a little vlog i've done a little bit on monday didn't do any for a couple of days, but I will try and do some in the next couple of days and do a little little weekly vlog for you guys. Um, we're not getting out of here. We're not getting out, with. Tough with me. We're not getting out much, are we, because of the, the window? Oh, that... yeah. A lot of our auctions are outside auctions. Better explain that one. And the car boot sales as well. So a lot of them have been cancelled, didn't they? 
hence why there hasn't been any videos of that. And I don't know what's going to happen this weekend either because it's meant to be severe rain. I mean, if the one at Swaffham gets cancelled, you know the weather's bad because yeah. they are carry on regardless. Yeah, yeah. So, and that's hence why. And we've got so much stuff here, so it's not too... You yeah. know, it doesn't... It's not rowing us if we don't go out and buy new stuff because <clears throat> we've got a shelving over here for the stuff. We've got a sheds and everything. So, we're not too hard. No, we're not bothered, stuff, no. We? It's, uh, it's nice to sort of... Go away from the actual... Thing, yeah, and like, if we get a little bit of footage <clears throat> and that, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. You know what I mean? So, you never know what this weekend brings, but I think it's going to be rain again. So I just, it's supposed to be bad today, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, I think we're getting off the subject here a little bit. We've turned yeah. into a weather presenter now. Thank you very much for joining us. What would we like? Anyway, so we're going to go now because, like I said, I've got a parcel to go and do. And we're going to get on. Carry on eBaying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Carry on eBaying. So, yeah, we'll see you very soon. Another video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.